Hey everybody, welcome to In the Red Zone. I'm Mike, this is Sean. What a crazy week of college football, week seven. You always get one. This one uh, started with Friday the 13th. Two of the top 10 fall on Friday the 13th. We start off Syracuse, knocks off Clemson. Yes, I picked the upset. I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> pretty excited about that. The other one though, that I don't think anybody saw coming, we didn't see coming, Cal beating uh, Washington State. Yeah. I mean, just incredible to start off the weekend that way and the weekend ends with seven of the top 25 getting beat and this is a weekend where we had no top 25 matchups i mean yeah. but it turned out to be one of the craziest wildest and fun weeks to watch college football this yeah. is what this is why college football is so much better than the nfl or anything else yeah. because anything can happen and it's so entertaining and if you love college football it doesn't matter if your team's playing or not. You can watch, sit down and watch any game, and you're just going to you're going to love what you see. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was crazy. So let's talk about Syracuse and Clemson. I mean. Yeah. What'd you think? I mean, you know, we've said it plenty of times. Clemson always seems to drop a game. Mm -hmm. um, it it just it kind of maybe this is it, and they went out for the rest of the season. They could go on to win the national championship. Yeah. Um, you know, but it, it just kind of. They don't have Deshaun Watson back there, and that's right. a, that's a huge thing. Can can this quarterback rebound um, off of off of a upset like that? Um, and he went out. It, okay, so I picked Syracuse in part, not based solely, but he was injured the week before with an yeah. ankle injury. I didn't think he was going to play, and if he did play, I didn't think he'd be a hundred percent. Yeah. But forty seconds to go in the half, first half. I mean, and he gets knocked out with a concussion. Yeah. And so, uh, so he didn't even play the second half. That well, he may not even be in this next week. He it depends on his what level yeah. of concussion, where he is in the protocol. Yeah. Because um, you know so. they're going to pay attention to that and yeah. you know do the right thing there. But Syracuse, I've said, is you know they're just a scrappy team. They they play hard. They play good as a team. They have more seniors returning than any other team in the ACC. Um, and they just were built, their offense was built to be able to handle or to at least neutralize that Clemson defense. Which, and I'm going to say, uh, I was born in St. Charles, Missouri. Then my family moved up to Owego, New York, upstate New York. And the closest college, the closest D1 school to us was Syracuse. So I'd like to say yeah. that had we stayed there and not moved to Oklahoma in 92, yeah. that maybe that would have been a college I would have looked at to go to. Probably yeah. not. Maybe yep. not smart enough to go to a D1. <laughs> but No, but yeah. um, maybe that would have been the school that I would have pulled for. And so I kind of, you know, it, it made me take a look at the map and, and kind of, you know, bring up some memories of me being a kid back in Owego and so yeah. so awesome awesome stuff if we have any uh, Syracuse fans and then, then that's awesome I, I, I'm pulling for you guys well, the rest of the way I have a little bit of a tie to Syracuse and the fact that um, give a quick shout out to Scotty Mack Scott McFarland he's an investigative reporter for NBC in Washington former co-worker of mine and a good friend and also he was just recently inducted into the WAER Radio Hall of Fame where you got guys like Marv Albert and Mike Trico and all of them are They've all worked there, been part of Syracuse. And then um, also, I just I did the post-production editing on a new documentary that just, was just released on WAER Radio in Syracuse that Scott produced, and I did the post-production for, and got, has gotten good reviews. So that's my tie to Syracuse. Yeah. And so that's why leading up to this game, I had watched them for a couple of games and where other people probably wouldn't watch them yeah. is just because of that. So um, I, I pull, pull for Syracuse a little bit because yeah. of that tie. So yeah. um, another game, Cal beats Washington State. Washington State just, I mean, what, what can you say? They laid... A turd. Yeah. They just couldn't do anything. Yeah. I mean, at, at, anywhere you turn, they just couldn't do anything. Yeah. I mean, they're good. They're really good. Mm -hmm. um, they just, like you said, they, they just couldn't seem to, to get it going. Yeah. Arizona State beats Washington. Uh, one of the things I said, I think it was in our picks last week, as I said, I didn't think Washington or Washington State could go undefeated for the season. I thought they would drop a game. I didn't expect it to be the same weekend, and I didn't expect it to be against Arizona State and Cal. So um, were you I, surprised by that? I am so jealous of Arizona State's defensive line. <laughs> Did you see them come off the ball every yeah. single play? And, I mean, there was like, you know, and even times when they weren't blitzing their linebackers or anything, and their defensive ends are just flying in there. I mean, I don't know yeah. any names, so I, I, you know, I apologize to Arizona fan or Arizona State fans. Uh, yeah. But I'm telling you, you've got a defensive line that is just animals. I mean, they yeah. they are just crazy 
fast, get mm -hmm. to the quarterback every time. Um, and they, I, I'm so jealous. I wish that if OU had an offense or a defensive line like that, man, watch yeah. out. Yeah, they, they were crazy good. Another another one. Uh, Auburn was number ten. They dropped to LSU, who was unranked at LSU. Um, they they pretty much were leading most of the game. I mean, I, I didn't watch the end of the game. I was I watched in the third quarter, and I turned it thinking, oh, Auburn's got this. And yeah. next thing I know, I see they lost. I thought, what the heck? I yeah. mean, so it's yeah. how it's 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 how Les Miles lost his job. It's it's mm -hmm. um, it's the fact that they. They lose games, you know, that they shouldn't, and then they end up, you know, they're always a decent team. They're yeah. always pretty good. Yeah. Um, now, I... But they I, haven't had a really dominant offense since Jamarcus right, Russell. Right, and I, mean, I, I was about to say, you know, they they just can't seem to find a quarterback. Right. Um, you know, they had one of the best wide receivers in the NFL right now, and I don't ever remember really hearing his name. You know, yeah. when back back when he was in college. Yeah. Um, but anyway, they always have a decent team. It's just they they lose games that they shouldn't, and mm -hmm. then they end up winning these that seem like surprises. But then you look at their roster and you think these are good players. Yeah. They they get four and five star talent. Mm -hmm. um, they just can never. And you know that's why whenever everybody's saying you know how is Les Miles losing his job when they're winning nine ten games a, yeah. a year. And and this is it. They yeah. they seem to you know still have talent that wants to fight and doesn't want to go down like that. Yeah. Another one. Uh, we'll move it right along. We're going to try to keep this one short. Uh, San Diego State, which uh, had surprised everybody, beat Stanford. They're ranked. I think they were ranked 19th. They lose to Boise State. Yeah. I mean, nobody saw that one coming. Uh, but and you know, in the past, I would I would be reluctant to pick against Boise State when Peterson was there as their yeah. coach. Since they've had a coaching change, they're not quite that team that you think is going to be dominant every year. So I didn't see that one coming as I well. I wonder if San Diego State just caught Stanford at a, at a, a good time for them. Yeah. I think if they played Stanford now, there's no chance they win that game. Right. I think that's true. Yeah. They had, I don't know the kid's name. I forget his name. But prior uh, to Love coming on from Stanford, the, guy, the kid from San Diego State was the leading rusher in the country. And yeah. he, was, he was dominant against Stanford. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so that was another top 25 loss. Another one, uh, Texas Tech ranked 24th, loses to West Virginia. I don't think that one was that big of a surprise. Yeah. Um, Texas Tech is good. I, I, I still think personally they're a top 25 team even with that loss, but they lost and they, and West Virginia took their spot. So, yeah. Big um, 12, man, I know a lot of people on the outside looking in think that, you know, just because they've been bad the last few years and they haven't really got the talent, they they're, mm -hmm. you know, they're constantly last in in just about every conference in NFL draft picks. But this year they're tough. They're it's a tough tough yeah. uh, schedule. I mean, even Iowa State's kind of showing that they're not as bad as people thought they were. Yeah. Um, you know, I will say that you know I don't I don't think Kansas is really there yet, but. Um, you know, even Texas is a tough team. Um, West Virginia and Texas Tech, they're both going to be tough games to go play um, yep. against when OU has to go face them. So, yep. um, you know, but I am kind of surprised with Texas Tech, the way they were kind of rolling, um, you know, surprised that. Well, they got up early. They were up 28 yeah. to 14 early and just it, it, I was I wanted West Virginia to win, but I started watching. I was like, "Wow, Texas Tech's going to run away with this!" And yeah. then second half, West Virginia turns it on. I mean, they had they weren't really able to do much offensively in the first half, and second half they they made the adjustments. Yeah. So uh, the other top twenty five team was Navy. They were undefeated, ranked twenty fifth. They played Memphis, got beat. Memphis is now twenty five. So I, you know, Memphis was already down there just below kind of knock on the door so that's yeah. not really that big of a yeah i picked memphis in this game yeah. um i've you know i saw them take care of ucla and they're a good tough team yeah i'm uh, not really surprised there the only other uh only game that stood out to me uh, georgia played missouri they won but they gave up a lot more points to missouri than i expected because uh georgia's been pretty dominant this year mm -hmm. i just think it was it was just one of those weekends i mean it just i don't know man i don't know if there was a full moon or what was going on but yeah. ever it just the games were crazy this weekend. Yeah, so it was nuts. I mean, yeah. you know, it took it took Baker Mayfield to to you know th 
throw a touchdown pass late yeah. in the game to Mark Andrews for them to secure that game. And yeah. then Texas even had a chance later, but they've got a true freshman quarterback who's good. I mean, if if he ends up being their, their quarterback from here on out, I mean, look out because that kid can fly and he can throw the ball. Um, you know, he's a yeah. little bit inconsistent throwing, but they've got receivers. Um, I not really sold on any running back from them. I know nah. Chris Warren, yeah. um, they, you know, he's a big bruising back and he got out on some, you know, some yeah. wheel routes and he got out some passes from the backfield that were phenomenal. And he just didn't get, it, it was a mental lapse on the, the defensive end. And that's not an excuse. Um, it was a great play call both times that he came out of the backfield, caught the ball. So you still have to catch it. You still have to yeah. run for those yards. So hats off to him yeah. for making those. I mean, if you can catch as a running back, you'll get a lot more action out there. If, if you're any young kids out there playing football, you know, learn how to catch uh, if you're a running back. Final thoughts here on this crazy weekend. I'll say Ellinger for Texas. Uh, he is Tebow 2.0 or Tebow light, as your dad said. I mean, yeah. he's just kind of that way. He's a big brute. He can run. It's hard to bring down. Uh, the other thing, Baker Mayfield throws his first interception, so you know it was a crazy weekend when yeah, he throws an interception. Man, I, I don't know where, where he on, was throwing that ball. And finally, the all-struggling JT Barrett against Nebraska has seven touchdowns yeah. in three quarters. Yeah. Five throwing and two rushing, and he didn't even play the fourth quarter. So, And the Heisman is wow. actually, not, <laughs> not to say, you know, not to be preemptive on this, but yeah. the Heisman's usually, I mean, it's st- except for last year where uh, Lamar Jackson lost, you know, s- yeah. however many games out of the last however many games. Um, but a lot of times it's kind of from the middle of the season on. So if he can yeah. keep going with that, he's going to put his name in there. Yeah. Personally, I think this year it goes to a, a, another running back. But um, Well, if, but yeah, lo- he, if, if Love continues his pace, oh, man. I mean, I think at the end of the season they're going to give it to him. I yeah. mean, he's going to be over 2,000 yards at the end of the year, maybe Nobody's 2, consistently doing it, though. Nobody no, is just not. consistent. I mean, Love, I guess you can say yeah. from from – you know, whenever they lost last to now, you know, he's putting up crazy numbers. But yeah. um, but nobody has just from game one just done it consistently. Yeah. And Barkley, he was off last week, so yeah. Penn State was off. So um, he gets a pass as far as that goes. But his previous game before that, I think he had 86 yards rushing. So yeah. it, that was his low point yeah, he of the struggled. season. He, he so. had negative like seven yards until like the third or fourth yeah. quarter. Yep. Yeah. I mean, so. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, which I know you aren't doing because we only have 11 Twitter followers, so whatever. But subscribe on YouTube. That's the one that matters. So um, for Sean, I'm Mike. I'm going to give these. (laughs) I didn't give them last week. (laughs) Yeah, you've been in the red zone.